Hello again, and thank you very much for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Meraki MV cameras. Uh, we brought out a, a few new additions. I think I mentioned in my previous video, but the demo I did, I must admit, wasn't that great, the sound on it. So hopefully this will be a bit better. Um, but we'll be talking about the brand new uh, cameras that we have uh, within our portfolio. So the main thing to remember about Meraki MVs is that we're setting out to solve problems and add value to your business. That could be anywhere within retail, within your office environments, outdoors for um, outdoor activities or festivals, uh, as well as uh, launch festivals for um, anywhere where there's a group of people attending, or shall we say a mass of people attending. Uh, the other area that we're focusing on heavily is ensuring that APIs become a big part of how you extract video uh, from the cameras and have a useful action that follows on from that. So let me just take you through uh, the camera range as it stands today. These are all second generation Meraki cameras and they are defined by the two at the end of their skew. So first of all, we've got our new outdoor camera called the MV72. I say new, it's been, a, it's, it's been around for uh, just under a year now. Um, although the MV71s were still popular. But the MV72 out now, uh, you've got full 1080p um, as well as a very focal lens, so that gives you a, a wider field of view. Um, and obviously you've got focus on zoom. Um, we have the internal sister of that camera called the MV22. This is the second generation for the MV21. And again, a very focal. You can see that we've changed the form factor to be uh, far more pleasing on the eye, especially when you um, are placing these within a retail environment or hospitality or hotel. Uh, you want to ensure that they fit the, uh, the interior decorating or at least blend in as much as possible. Then we have the MV12 static um, 1080p. Um, all of these cameras I'm showing you come with the Qualcomm Snapdragon chip and um, that's the Snapdragon 5. Um, and that allows you um, to have some very powerful video processing um, chip with, chips within the, the cameras, but also allows you for that processing uh, to continue to proliferate as more video gets analyzed. So it's over capacity for what it's doing at the moment. The latest edition is the MV32. This is a um, eight, uh, well, more than eight megapixel um, sensor. Um, so you're looking at a 180 degree horizontal field of view um, and it records 360 degrees um, at all times. So it allows you to use these in combination with uh, say virtual reality headsets, allows you to then go in and look around. So totally immersive, a uh, great way of us illustrating how uh, Meraki is changing the way that CCTV is viewed. So today I don't want to spend too much time on the physical hardware. What we want to talk about are some use cases to do with how you are able to add value with the Meraki MVs and I'll be going through that on the board behind me. The three scenarios, um, the three scenarios that we'll be addressing today is one, let's take a retail environment. Uh, where we have long queues and we want to address queue counting. So let's start off with this being the area where your cashier tills are. And we will be looking at how we optimize our queue systems or at least provide you with real time information on what that queue is doing. So till one, two and three, you've got a snake queue here and all of your customers are walking in an easterly direction in comparison to the board. As they come through and they get to this point, if we say that this is your earliest customer, the customer that has been in the queue for the longest, you will be able to with Meraki MV either being located in anywhere where it has a field of view optimally behind the cashier desks, start looking at how long this individual has been in the queue. So this could be five minutes. Let me just get a, another pen. It's always the case. You walk in, that's what I call poor pep, 
poor pre pre preparation. So this person's been here for five minutes. This person could have been here for four minutes. And effectively what happens is, is that each of these individuals have been tagged with a number. They're in the field of view of this camera. And what happens is you set a KPI, shall we say. And effectively what happens is that once this person hits five minutes, a WhatsApp message can be sent to the store manager who can then be called over to come and have a look at why this queue is stuck there for five minutes. So inadvertently what you are able to do is uh, digitize the whole alerting system with the Meraki MV camera and that gives you the opportunity to improve your customer service. Uh, within a, let's say within a banking environment, you have the same situation here. The camera has picked up that you have individuals. This individual is tagged with a number, say 1055. Um, they get to the till and what happens is that the ERP system initiates um, a um, transaction and then from that point onwards asks the server to request an API of that individual sitting at that desk or standing at that counter and what you'll find is you're then able to combine a picture or visual element with ERP data and therefore know what customers look like within your your own environment um, and that could be used in in multiple scenarios obviously you need to check your local governing rules or laws to ensure that you're not infringing on anybody's privacy um, the next scenario that we can look at is if I just take this off the board is to do with security so let's just say you have a parking lot and you have a car driving in so for the moment, Meraki won't recognize the element that it's a car or it won't trigger anything. Um, but the individual climbing out of the car or an individual walking through the car park towards your retail store, it will then pick that up through an outdoor camera, which will be the MV72. Now, I sat and thought about this scenario and we tested it this morning. And it seems to be um, something that works very well. So let's say, for instance, the individual walking here was carrying a firearm. What will happen is, is that if you um, request based on motion that the MV72 takes a snapshot of that individual and sends it to um, your server. And your server then sends that on to Amazon recognition what you are able to do then is you are able to do object detection with amazon recognition when we tested it this morning it came back with i think a rate of 87 percent accuracy on whether the individual is carrying a firearm or not now that could trigger off quite a few things if they're a security guard fine um, you won't trigger something um, however if they have any text on them that say they are security then you'd be able to get that as part of this return image as well from Amazon recognition. So when you look at the MV72s or any other MV range with a powerful sensor, um, the ability for you to implement them very quickly because you don't need NVRs or DVRs, you can run them over a wireless network. What you are able to do is um, place some sensors or shall we say really powerful cameras um, that are easily implemented in strategic places or say high risk places or strategic places where you want to collect data uh, within the environment and then you can have a load of offshoot processes that can run from there. APIs are really simple to run. It allows you to get a lot of information out and you can collect that information. You can also start collecting within your retail environment or outdoor whether people are happy, sad um, and you can put that in a form of a pie chart. So at the end of the week you can look at customer satisfaction within a restaurant chain, whether the people within that environment are actually happy, sad, neutral, angry. And that again provides you with the ability to look at your overall emotions within your environment and how individuals interact with your environment. So the key here is using Meraki in its simplicity and not just thinking about storing petabytes worth of video but actually looking at surgically removing images or extracting images based on events and using those to add value to your network. Another one you can look at is, um, let's say, 
you want to do something like you want to protect revenue within your uh, retail stores so let's just draw a desk another duff pen clearly we're doing far too many of these videos okay so I've got a store clerk yeah with a till and I find that at the end when I look at my P&L um, we're seeing an awful lot of returns and these could be perishable goods it, could, it doesn't necessarily have to be clothing or anything it could be a food store for instance and I see a lot of refunds take place um, on particular days or shall we say particular rotor days so I can then put a camera here and again I have my ERP system that's connected to a server and every time a refund takes place I can activate or shall I send request an API image of that area and I can ask the camera how many people are in the frame so I already get that data and what that simply means is, is if I have one employee behind the counter uh, performing a refund without a customer present then that is a high-risk situation for my business or shall we say something to note might be perfectly legitimate might be a normal activity uh, but if we start seeing uh, multiples of those over a period of time then we would like to pay attention to those types of situations